first grade friends, happy Tuesday. Let's review our high fi words. I'm gonna show it to you and I want you to try to say it before I do. Are you up for the challenge? Ready? Good, great job. First, uh, I, he, was my had great job those are your high five words this week i hope you got to do something fun with those on your choice boards yesterday all right we talked about our vocabulary words they are accept you say it accept and accept is when you say yes or agree to something Happen, you say it. Happened. If something happened, it took place. It already happened. It already took place. Calm, you say it. Calm. You are quiet and peaceful if you are calm. Ridiculous. Good job. Ridiculous. Ridiculous is if you feel very silly. And this reminds me of a part in Harry Potter when they shout out ridiculous. Now, these two words we talked about last week, but I want to review them today. Search, you say it, search. Search is when you are looking for someone or something. And the other one we're going to talk about is introduce, you say it, introduce. When you introduce yourself to someone, you tell someone your name. Nice to meet you. I'm Miss Monteruli. Now you tell me your name. Great job. Okay, we are going to do some um, phonics work this morning or afternoon, whatever it is. So I'm going to show you some pictures. Go ahead and look at my workspace here. Here we have one, two, three, four pictures. The first picture is an axe. You say it, axe. The next picture is a tub. You say it, tub. Very good. This picture is a map. You say it, map. And this is a goat. You say it, goat. All right. So I'm gonna chunk out some words for you. And I want you to tell me whether I have a picture of that word or I do not have a picture of that word. Are you ready? There we go. All right. <clears throat> I will say a word in two chunks, the beginning and then the rest of the word. Then you blend the chunks to say the word. Listen as I do the first one. I'm trying to say a word. Listen to the chunks. T-ub. T-ub. I can blend the chunks to say the word tub. The word is tub. Do you see a tub in my pictures? T-ub. Tub. Yeah, right here, right? Excellent. T-ub. You say it. T-ub. Excellent. All right, that was our example, so let's move on. Listen and blend the word chunks and then tell whether or not there's a picture card match. Here's the first chunk and I want you to blend them together. N app. N app. What word does that make? Nap, right? Do you see a picture of a nap anywhere? No, I don't think so. That's not one of our pictures. Good. All right, the next one is axe. Axe. You say it. Axe. And blend it together to say axe. Do you see a picture of an axe? Yeah, right here. Very good. Axe. All right, I'm going to tell you two chunks. Get ready. J. Ug, j ug. That blends together to say jug. Right? Do you see a picture of a jug? 
Nope, no jugs here. How about this? M app. M app. Map. Do you see a picture of a map? Yes, right here. Very good. All right, next. Ha ot. Ha ot. Hot. Do you see a picture of hot here? No. All right, last one. G oat. G oat. G oat. Goat. Do you see a picture of a goat? Very good. Okay. That is so amazing. You can blend words. Excellent job. Just like yesterday when we were blending our letters to make words, that's exactly what you just did. Not only do you know how to blend words, you know how to blend sounds to say the word. So I will say all the sounds in a word and you will blend the sounds to say the word. Listen as I do the first one. M et. M et. Met. All right, so those three sounds come together to say the word met. Let's do one, and I have a picture for it. Well, maybe I do. All right. P ad. Pad. Do you see a picture of a pad, like a pad of paper? Nope. All right, let's try another one. K -a -p -k. Do you see a picture of a k -a -p? Right here, very good, k. Okay, I'm gonna say three sounds, get ready. Ox, ox. Those three sounds combine to make what word? Fox. Fox, that's right. Excellent work. Good job. Okay. Next, I have pen. Let's think about those three words, three sounds that come together to make the word pen. P -n, P-N, pen. P-N. Pen. Excellent. Okay, listen to these three sounds and see if I have the picture of it. Y -a -k. Y -a -k. What word am I making? Yak. Very good. That's this large animal is a yak. And the last one is m it. M it. Mitt. There we have a mitt right there. Excellent work, guys. You are so strong at phonics. Beautiful. Okay. Yesterday we read the story, My School Trip. Give me a thumbs up if you like this story. Who remembers what's the genre for My School Trip? It's re realistic fiction very good it didn't happen but it could happen there's no magic no dragons it could truly happen you could go on a school trip to a butterfly garden all right so your assignment yesterday was page 44 write a list write a list of the things the girl likes on her trip what were some of the things that the girl liked on her trip? Well, let's look back. If you can't remember, that's okay. We took a school trip. Nan was my partner. So her trip she liked was the butterfly garden. So that's my first thought bubble. The first thing she liked on her trip was the butterfly garden. Right? What else does she like in her trip? I'm looking back in my text to find the evidence. I don't have to have it memorized, but I can certainly look back in my text. Ooh, she likes this when the butterfly lands on her. So I'm gonna write when she had a butterfly.
I know very easily how to write had and a uh, because they're my high fi words. So she had a butterfly and the butterfly garden. Those were two things she liked. Hmm. Now, I think she likes that Nan has a butterfly. Do you agree? I think she's a nice friend and she's happy that her friend has a butterfly. So that's gonna be one of my other reasons. Nan had a butterfly. If your reasons don't match my reasons exactly, that's okay. And the last thing she likes, which I've been thinking about, is that Nan is her friend. Nan is her friend. I think she likes that the best of all. Now, Nan, I know how to spell that because it has a beginning, middle, and end sound. N -n Nan is a, two of my high five words, friend. Friend. Hmm. I don't know how to spell that, but I do remember when we read it yesterday, they wrote the word friend for us. So I'm gonna look back in my book and copy how they spelled it. F-R-I-E-N-D is how you spell friend. It's okay to not know, but if you can find out a way to figure it out, definitely do that. Very good. All right, look at page 45. Point to page 45 with me in your my book. It says, now write a list of things that the girl telling the story likes about her trip. Remember to list people, places, or things the girl likes. Use the words and pictures from the story and your web for ideas. So I'm not going to write, she likes outer space. Did we read about outer space? No, we read about a butterfly garden. So my sentence stem is, she likes. We don't know this girl's name, so we're just gonna say she. She likes. This is how your sentence should start as well. She likes. And for your assignment today, I want you to write two of the things you put on your web. So I would write, she likes the butterfly garden and she likes a, um, having a friend. So you're gonna choose two of these reasons. She likes, so let, how about I write mine? She likes the garden and her friend. I'm putting an ending mark, a period, so I know my sentence is over. Also notice S has a capital letter because it's the beginning of a sentence. She likes the garden and her friend. Your answer does not have to be the same as mine. Choose two things you wrote about and then turn them into a sentence on page 45. I can't wait to see your pictures of all your hard work. Good job, guys.